Hello and welcome back to Bookish. Today is Tag Tuesday, so I thought I'd do a quick tag for you. This is the short story tag. It was originated by the people over at Literary Gladiators, and I was tagged to do this tag by Mark Nash. I'll leave links to their uh, tag videos down below as well as the questions. So um, I'm afraid my answer to the short story uh, tag prompts are going to be incredibly conventional, which it's possible I'm incredibly conventional, so there we go. So question number one is, do you read and write short stories or just read them? Uh, I do both. Uh, I really enjoy reading short stories. As a matter of fact, there was a time uh, maybe 10 or 15 years ago when I preferred uh, reading from collections of short stories. And there's still times today uh, when sometimes I'll just go on a binge and in a month I'll just read a few short stories by different authors from the collections or the uh, anthologies of short stories uh, that I have. Uh, and I really enjoy that. And, and occasionally uh, I write a short story just because I think it's fun or because there's an idea that I have in my head and I want to kind of see how it works out if I try to write the story. Uh, and I enjoy that. It's, it's, it's something I do mostly for pleasure and not too seriously. Uh, question number two, what is your favorite short story? Well, being somebody who really loves um, short stories, I, I don't know that I have uh, a single favorite. Uh, I would list among my favorite short stories uh, for Esme with Love and Squalor by J.D. Salinger, which I actually think may be the best thing J.D. Salinger ever wrote. Um, that's a great story, and I like that story. I like Gabriel Garcia Marquez's story, A Very Old Man with Enormous Wings. By the way, I was watching um, Alan Morton's video the other day, uh, and he had a poem from Robert Service about uh, lending books and book borrowers and what a scourge they are. And so I will tell you that my copy of Nine Stories by J.D. Salinger was borrowed uh, and never returned. Uh, so there went that book. And I don't think I've loaned a book since then. Uh, in addition to that, uh, I have a whole video about Hemingway's Big Two-Hearted River Part 1 and 2. Uh, that's clearly one of my favorite short stories. And I, I'll be honest with you, I like almost all of the short stories of William Trevor. I don't think this is the last time William Trevor will come up, but I, without naming, you know, half a dozen specific stories, William Trevor stories are, generally speaking, uh, my favorite. Uh, prop number three is, what is your favorite short story collection? My favorite short story collection is The Complete Stories of Ernest Hemingway. Shocker. Uh, I'm an Ernest Hemingway fan, a fairly unapologetic fan of his writing, and I will tell you, I think he is, a, on the whole, a better short story writer than a novel writer. I think he may be the best American short story writer. That, of course, is my opinion, so his collected short stories is my favorite collection of short stories. Question number four is favorite short story writers. Well, not to go back through, you know, all the same ones again, but obviously uh, Hemingway, William Trevor, these are two I've mentioned. I really like uh, the works of Raymond Carver uh, in this collection where I'm calling from. There's some great stories in there, and I think Carver was capable of writing great short stories. One of my favorite collections and one of my favorite short story writers, and again, someone I think of as one of the great American short story writers was John Cheever, so I own this relatively boring looking copy of the stories of John Cheever. Uh, I thought those were great. I enjoy Eudora Welty's short stories. Again, she's a great short story writer and not a particularly great novelist. And I could say the same thing about Flannery O'Connor. I think Flannery O'Connor was a great short story writer. Um, so you'll notice that there's a certain uh, element of American classics to my uh, short story list of favorites. There aren't a lot of <coughs> modern short stories or modern short story writers that I, I particularly like. And I'm not sure if that's because I haven't read enough of them or simply because they're not that good. I did read George Saunders' collection um, December 10th. George Saunders, uh, famous for winning the Booker Prize for Lincoln and the Bardo. And I'll be honest with you, I wasn't not particularly impressed with his short stories, which is kind of, you know, where he made his name and his reputation. Uh, prompt number five is, let's see, favorite outlet for finding short stories. I used to have a subscription to The New Yorker, and that was one place where I found new authors and new short stories. But The New Yorker is, is, comes out every week, and it's like getting a 120-page book to read every week on top of the books I wanted to read. And so 
I found that you know the older I got and the more uh, I got into my working and other responsibilities, the less time I had for the New Yorker. So I did let my New Yorker subscription uh, die. Sometimes I, I do read the New York Times book review uh, and look over that, and sometimes I find new authors and stories there. Or you know sometimes I hear about an author, uh, maybe I hear about them because they wrote a novel, which is you know popular at the time or is kind of. Uh, in the news, and so I, I will find short story collections by them and read those as well. Problem number six is how short do you like your short story? So it really doesn't matter to me. What I'm really more opposed to is a really long short story. If it's novella, you know, make it a novella. Um, don't write a 75 page short story or maybe even a 55 page short story and call it a short story. I think Fitzgerald and Faulkner were both guilty of this and then really and I, I, I mentioned this to Mark Nash in a comment I think as well and really it just feels like you're you're doing a trial run of a novel and you're not really writing a short story uh, at all and that that kind of bothers me so question seven is what uh, makes for a good short story so part of it is uh, respecting the form of the short story and treating the short story as its own art form its own literary form and respecting not the conventions necessarily but respecting what has to be in a short story you have to create characterization quickly and I have to come to care about these characters um, quickly you have to I think create a world um, as quickly as you can and in as few words as you can and I think with short stories when you read them one of the things that if you like to read stories you become accustomed to doing is kind of filling in the blanks, taking a little description, and then I think one of the great things about short stories is that it frees up your imagination uh, to fill in the blanks because short stories really can't contain incredibly long detailed descriptions of people's appearances or places or things like that. And so I think I think a good short story is able to create characters I care about and a story that I want to know the end of. Um, and to do that as efficiently as possible. Uh, question number eight is what short story writers do you want to read more of? Um, so I want to finish my collection of Raymond Carver stories. Uh, I just, uh, for the Irish read along, started reading some Edna O'Brien stories. I definitely want to read more from her. And then um, Lori Moore is a writer whose stories I want to read. The fellows at Strip Cover Lit did a a video about her story. I think it's called How to Become a Fiction Writer or How to Write Fiction. And that story and their discussion of it really made me want to read more Lori Moore. So I need to remember that the next time I'm book shopping to look for works by her. So then prompt number nine is who do you tag? And I don't always tag people, but I want to do that this time. I want to tag some people in part to draw attention to a couple of new channels that I found and in part because I'm interested in seeing people's answers. So the first person I want to tag is, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know your name, is I want to tag Hardcover Hearts. Uh, this is a new channel uh, I've, that I saw recommended somewhere else, and I really like her channel and her videos, and I'd like to see her answers to these questions if you read short stories. Uh, also, Jenny Johnston. Jenny Johnston is an, also a new channel, and she does some great reviews and just some really interesting stuff in the few videos of hers that I've seen and the videos that she's done. So I'd like to see, you know, she reads short stories and her reaction. And then people have been around a little bit more. David Murphy has a really interesting channel. Um, he's a young man who I think is getting an advanced degree in finance of all things, which by the way, just David, if you see this, I have to be honest with you, I can't imagine anything uh, that I would like less than that. I, I took a, accidentally took a finance class in college and uh, it, it was almost uh, the end of me as a college student. And then I also want to tag Richardson Reads uh, because uh, he reads widely and I'd be interested to know his opinion about short stories and what his favorites are. Anyway, there's my version of the short story tag. Um, I appreciate you watching and I look forward to your comments down below.